Hi peeps and welcome back to QuackTube. As you can see I got a lot of items ready to try out from the amazing shop Akiba Station. So thanks a lot Akiba Station for doing this together with me. So yeah, we're going to try a lot of cool Japanese items and I can't wait to taste them and let you know what I like and what I dislike. Let's go! And before we go and taste, did you peeps see the awesome merch that I got? We got the hoodies and I'm so happy with my hoodie. It's so comfy, it's nice, I like the color, I like the poros, I am really happy. So yeah, if you would like to get one of those cool hoodies, definitely send me a private message on Facebook to get one for yourself. If I'm not mistaken, I think those are noodles from Pukchu! Pukchu noodles! With a lot of explanations and there is nothing that I understand from this, so... Hmm, quite exciting. Can't wait to try this out. Let's go! So, of course, we need hot water. So here we got some boiling water. Be careful, boiling water is hot. <laughs> That's what you learn from Crash Tube, right? Boiling water is hot. I hope that it's going to be just like Aiki noodles, otherwise um, I'm in trouble. But if I look at this, it looks that way. <gasps> that, oh my god. That's... Oh my god. Look at that. That little pig juice. <laughs> look. Look at this! This is big juice! That's awesome! Ah! Sticky ticket! Uh, what's his name again? Fire, fire roar, I think? We need to pour this water in this without spilling. We both know that's not going to happen. And yes! And then we need to close it. And wait some minutes! Don't ask me how long. Let's wait five minutes. <laughs> you know what? In the meantime that we are waiting for the noodles to be ready, we could actually already go to a second item. And I think that before we're going to eat something, it's good to get something to drink. You never know what taste we're going to get in our mouth. And this item is actually something that we know. It's cola. But it's not any kind of cola, it's cola from Hiroshima! Yeah, look at this bottle, it's so beautiful! I like the bottle! And don't worry, this isn't radioactive, I think. <laughs> and it's a glass bottle, yeah! I would say let's, let's try this, ooh! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, 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 don't do this on me, cola! Don't do this on me! Uh. Okay, cola from Hiroshima. It doesn't smell exactly like the cola. Do you smell it? Smell it. Okay. <clears throat> Wish me luck. Cheers. Hiroshima cola. I was thinking that it wouldn't be such a big difference, but it's definitely not Coca-Cola. It's like a combination of Dr. Pepper and Pepsi Cola. Interesting question. Which cola do you prefer? Coca-Cola, Pepsi or Dr. Pepper? For me, it's actually Dr. Pepper. I think that's like the spicier one. I like it. <laughs> Quite good. I, I give it a thumbs up, it's very good, it's not bad, I'm still alive, it's not radioactive, I'm not glowing, right? Am I glowing? I'm, I'm sparkling, I'm quite shiny. <laughs> but okay, talking about shiny, shiny Pokemons, Pokemon noodles, it should be ready. Ooh, 
<laughs> I'm going to eat little Pikachu. <laughs> Look at this. It's a little Pikachu. <laughs> okay. Cheers. I have no idea what it is. It doesn't taste like meat. It doesn't taste like fish. I thought it was actually going to be just a Pikachu version of uh, the little fish cakes that they put in in ramen, the the things that they call Naruto's. And no, not not the anime character. But if you watch Naruto, it's like the little fish cake with the spiral. I think it's that. Or it might be ham. <laughs> I don't know, but it doesn't taste bad. But yeah. Oh. Okay, let's say some more. If I'm not mistaken, it's the soya noodles. Huh? Okay, that's hot. Boiling water is still hot. Mm. <laughs> what did you learn today? Uh, that crash is a... <laughs> Nothing really special except that you got like the, the little Pikachus, but apart from that, if you like IT noodles, you're going to like this. Hmm. The noodles themselves are actually better than IQ noodles. I prefer this. I could keep eating this, but that's not going to be a, an interesting video for you peeps. So we are going to continue. And after the video, I can continue eating those nice noodles. Okay, what's next? Yes, I want to do this now. Okay, for all of those, uh, especially in Europe, you do know Kinder Surprise. It's like the chocolate eggs with a little toy in it. But One Piece came with their own little surprise eggs. And I guess it's called uh, One Piece eggs. <laughs> I would say let's open it. Mm. And my God, it's a box with a little egg. Look at this, it's the egg from one, this is the one piece, we finally know what the one piece is, it's a, it's a chocolate egg, damn, <laughs> okay, wow, it, it smells exactly like Kinder Surprise, I'm actually surprised by that because I don't know what the taste is of Japanese chocolate. Oh my, okay, it's it's just the same. Okay, it's a Kinder Egg. Let's taste. Yeah, for me it's the same. Huh. Okay, this is a surprise. So, then I actually prefer this because it's a Kinder Egg, but you got the One Piece surprise. Interesting. And also a little interesting thing is, I think that most of you peeps know that, but Kinder Eggs are actually banned in America because this is too dangerous for their kids. And yeah, there are a lot of memes talking about, yeah, Kinder Surprise is dangerous for kids, but weapons aren't like, yeah, we, we know, yeah. It's, it's a dead meme by now, but let's open this. Ooh. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. How do I build this? Um, can't be too hard, right? And then I put this leg. Here we got Luffy. Luffy Bada. Yep. Not bad, not bad. Woo! This looks fancy. Okay, every burger. Ta-ta! I don't know what it is, but it looks like candy, I think. Don't know what it is, but that's the fun thing about this, right? Oh! Something else? No, empty for the rest. So this is the box from the back side. A lot of things that I can't read. Oh, those are cookies, apparently. Oh my God, they look amazing. 
Look at this! Little hamburger cookies! Oh, welcome! Okay. Hmm. That's actually adorable, like little hamburgers. No, don't worry, they don't smell like hamburgers. They smell like cookies. Okay, let's try this. Oh. Oh! Okay, so the bun is crispy, but the inside, like the, the hamburger and the cheese are soft. Like chocolate. Hmm! Chocolate cookies. Hamburger chocolate cookies. Oh. Actually really fun, like put this on the table when you got some gas. It's a, it's a really fun eye catcher and it tastes really good. Oh. I also give this one a thumbs up. Oh yeah, and for the noodles, thumbs up as well. The straw hat, Kinder Surprise, thumbs up as well. Everything is good until now, that's, um, that's actually really fun. Next one are actually going to be something that you're gonna remember from last video that I made together with Akiba Station but it's an other taste, it's a new taste and it's also from Caramel Corn which was actually my favorite candy from the last video but this one is with Strawberry that definitely smells like Strawberry <laughs> Look at it Arigato, Takashi Mouse. No. Okay, I need I need some more time. Um, I gotta say, the smell of strawberry is stronger than the taste of strawberry. Mm, it smells good. <laughs> so I like it, but it's not my favorite one. But yeah, if you like strawberry, you're going to like this. Um, okay, I need to put the, the bag down. Oh my god, I'm going to eat so much today. <laughs> uh, a little bit sad, but we are actually reaching the last item. Uh, quite sad, but the good news is after this video, I'm going to be able to continue eating all the other stuff. <laughs> but the last one is actually really small and it's green and in Japan there are only two options if it's green it's green tea or wasabi and this time it's wasabi <laughs> so I'm scared um, it's Kit Kat so I think that most of you food thieves do know Kit Kat it's the chocolate chocolate Kit Kat but as you can see green and I was hoping it was going to be green tea, but um, it's not. It's not green tea. <laughs> and it's in little packages, maybe because it's more something that you give to someone to, to tease them. I wouldn't know why you would like to eat chocolate with wasabi. Okay, the dangerous part is I do not smell wasabi. I do smell chocolate, so... If you are giving this to someone without telling them, they are not going to have any clue about that. Just tell them, yeah, it's green tea. It's green tea. Don't worry about it. Mm, green tea is good, good. No, I still don't smell any wasabi, god damn it. So, yeah, it's green. White chocolate with a little green tint. Okay, let's go. Three. I, I got my drink to calm down. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't like wasabi. <laughs> so yeah, very important. I do not like wasabi. I do not like mustard, so... Uh. Huh. Okay. I don't feel anything yet. Huh. 
Is this a trap? Oh! Oh! Oh, there it is! Oh boy! Yeah, that's wasabi for you. The good news is, you got a taste from wasabi, but it's not like the punishing pain of wasabi <laughs> until now. <laughs> oh, that's so strange. Like, you got chocolate with the aftertaste of wasabi. Japanese people are so strange and I love it. Really, they got no limits to what they are putting in their mouth to eat. It's, it's like, oh, there is this and there is this. Combine fusion! Ah, I really like that, that they are not afraid to experience with different tastes. Like, I don't think that that would ever happen in Belgium, for example, like putting mustard or wasabi on chocolate. Huh. But you know what, peeps? For someone who doesn't like wasabi, I'm, I'm eating all of this. So that's, that's interesting. But maybe I'm a little bit disappointed for the fact that I was like, to, to use this as a prank candy. Uh, giving someone a candy that is like super hot. That they would be like, oh, 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 ah, 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 ah. That's, that's not going to happen with this. But if you do like the taste of wasabi, this is definitely worth it to try because it's really good actually. The combination is something that I didn't expect. Huh? So yeah, quite interesting. So peeps, now we are going to see which one I did prefer the most and which one was my least favorite. But as I already told you peeps, this is depending on my own taste and the things that I think that are special because I want if I go to Akiba station and I go buy an item from Japan I want it to be something that I can't get in Belgium I want it to be like whoa this is a taste that I never ever felt whoa <laughs> so yes we got a total of one two three four five six items so we are going to number six so my least favorite, but still a good taste, is going to be the Wasabi Kit Kat. To number five. Number five, we got the Hiroshima Coca. <laughs> the Hiroshima Cola. Number four is going to be a big surprise, maybe, because my last number one was Caramel Corn, but the, this one, is going to hit number four is the strawberry caramel corn number three is going to be the kinder surprise one piece box and then we go straight to number two because i don't want to make this video too long for your piece and number two is going to be the pikachu noodles Woo! So yes peeps, I do love me some noodles and then of course number one, you already know which one it is, it is the Every Burger! So a really fun item to add on the table for your guests and for yourself, little cute hamburger cookies, they look amazing, I, I really like how they look. I really like how they taste, so yeah, there's nothing bad to say about the hamburgers. We all love ourselves some little cheeseburgers, so now you can eat them as dessert as well. Like, imagine you make yourself some nice own homemade hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and then on the end you give a little dessert and it's also cheeseburgers! Oh my god, the cheeseburger inception, it's all real. Yes, so peeps, I would really like to know which one of those are the items that you would like to taste for yourself. Which one looks so yummy, yummy, delicious for you. And yeah, if you're ever willing to go to Akiba Station, they are at Antwerp Station. So definitely say hi from me to them. 
and they are also going to be at all the conventions that I am going to be. So this weekend is going to be Brussels Comic Con. I hope to see you there. And one more time, if you want some merch, let me know. <laughs> but thanks for watching, peeps. And as I already told you, I'm going to eat my noodles. And I hope to see you next time. And do not forget, I'm Crash. And I'm out. Bye-bye. Whoop. Ah.